Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. Today we're going to have a different video. Instead of focusing on JM's misspellings or claims, we're going to look at his math skills. Before we begin, a quick thank you to my Patreons. Let's get started. JM, is uh, 10 to the negative 12, is that a negative number? 10 to the negative 12? Yes. Well, what do you mean by negative? What do you mean by, what do you mean by negative? Negative numbers are any number under zero. Like minus one, minus two, minus 2.5, minus 2.3. But apparently Mr. I have a Masters of Science doesn't know what a negative number is. Let me educate you then. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about negative numbers. Negative numbers can be a little confusing at first, so don't get discouraged if it takes you a while to get it. You're used to seeing the number line starting at zero and just going to the right, but the number line also goes to the left. And what numbers are on that part of the number line? Yep, you guessed it, negative numbers. Do you see how easy it is? 10 to the negative 12th power. Is that a, is that a uh, negative number? 10 to the negative, yeah, it would be a negative number. I'll serve a said. Let me just say, 10 to the negative 17, guys. Just to cover this again, the 18th billion time, because apparently the people on non-sequester don't know how to count. And you, sir, don't know how to spell, and apparently don't know how to talk. It's called non-sequitur show, not non-sequester. And so far, you have not proven you can do math. You've proven the exact opposite. 10 to the negative 17 is negative 17 10 times. Egypt. So it's still a negative number, folks. Does it's it change? Pretty, does, basic math. does it change when the exponential is an odd number? Because you're multiplying. No. Okay, it's always a negative number because you're multiplying by negative numbers? Yes. Why the face palm, you ask? It's easy. Even assuming that 10 to the negative 17 is 10 times 17, which it isn't, he's wrong about the multiplying negative numbers with always a negative result. Why is he wrong? Basic maths. A negative times a negative is going to give you a positive answer. What, yeah, like I have... Basically, when you, go, when you go 10 to the negative 17, you're going to the right side of the decimal point. Yep. So you're, into the, you're already into the negative fractions. Wait, what? Let's hear that again. You're going to the right side of the decimal point. Yep. So you're, into the, you're already into the negative fractions. So before we continue, let's get the record straight here. 10 to the negative 17 is not a negative number. It's a, a fraction, a small fraction, a really, really small fraction. But just by being a fraction, that doesn't mean the number is negative. It's not. Let's have a look. 10 to the negative 17 is this number. Does that look negative to you? It doesn't to me. And then, when people tell him he's wrong, he reacts in his normal way. I know what I'm doing. I know things. You are wrong. And, uh, Nathan, uh, I'm, I'm hey. not wrong. I know mathematics. I know how math works. Okay. So 10 to the negative 17 or 10 to the negative 7, those are negative numbers, you're saying. Um, is what negative is in the equation? 10 to the Again, he demonstrates he knows nothing about mathematics. 10 to the negative 17 is not an equation. This is an example of an equation. See the difference? In mathematics, an equation is a statement that asserts the equality of two expressions. 10 to the negative 17 is not an equality of two expressions. Therefore, it's not an equation. But let's continue. Please look it up. There's people in the YouTube chat telling you you're wrong, you've been flattered. I don't, give a, I don't give a crap what people in YouTube have to say. Well, I you, really you don't. You are wrong, though. Look up scientific notation. Okay. I have looked up scientific notation. Clearly, you haven't. Like before, you're just claiming things without even checking them out. I'm well aware of what scientific notation is. I'll survey said. Just pulled up a calculator. 
10 times negative 17 is 170 negative. The problem here is that 10 times negative 17 is not the same thing as 10 to the negative 17. You'd know that if you knew maths. Just wow. like, like and... scientific notation, right out the window. Here you go. It's negative 170. Finally, something we agree on. The scientific notation is right out the window. You claim to know what it is, and you immediately after, you show us that you don't. So, Tim, go to your school. Go to school, dude. <laughs> don't come here and argue with me. Yeah, and I must have, like, really, like, set him off when I showed the 117 just now. Negative 117. No, no, negative, no 170. That must okay. have triggered him, bro. Yeah, I just want to say, 10 to the negative 17 isn't 10 times negative 17. Just FYI. Here we go with the Globe Muppets. All right, Red, do you want to tell us why we're wrong and then what it is, since you're so smart, Red? Yeah, it's called scientific notation jam, and you really need to look into it because you're wrong. <laughs> look it up, man. 10, hey. 10 to the negative 17 isn't the same as 10 times negative 17. Of the title. Hey. Let me make this clear, because they both have come in here claiming scientific notation. I've tried to be quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, I am well aware of sci what scientific notation is, okay? The actual negative 17 after the 10 is the, is the placement of the decimal and the zeros behind that decimal. I understand how it works, okay? When I, said, when I say it's a negative number, what I'm referring to is the fact that it's on the right side of the decimal point. Does this sound like someone who knows maths? So the number being on the right side of the decimal point makes it a negative number. Are you kidding me, JM? Have you even gone to school? I'm starting to doubt it. Just so that I can make that clear, okay? From my perspective, that is a negative number. So that we're clear, JM, a negative number is a negative number here, in the UK, in the US, in China, in Russia, in Pakistan, everywhere. It's not based on one's perspective. What are you saying? This is basically the start of his backpedaling, because later on, he really gets called out by someone we know. As it's not a whole number. Being a fraction, or as you say it, not a whole number, doesn't make it doesn't make it a negative number. You uneducated potato, what are you saying? And you claim to be a physicist? Come on, I wouldn't hire you to tie my shoes. Is it a negative number technically? No, it's a fraction. More backpedaling. So, is it a negative number? Is it a fraction? It was a negative number a second ago. It's no longer a negative number. It depends on the point of view. Depends on your perspective. What is this? Okay. Just to explain, yes, I do understand how this works. Clearly, you don't. Oh, and apparently I don't know what the scientific rotation is. No, you don't. You've just proven that. Or what a negative number is. And that's or like, what a negative number is. Dude, and what's funny is this is like the most important thing for the globe heads, is that you figure out it's a negative number. Well, whoop de doo Mr. Nathan Thompson to the rescue. And yes, maths is important. Because it seems to be a, a big problem with flat earthers. They don't know how to do maths. And clearly, this so-called physicist doesn't know how to do maths either. Not even the basic ones. As in, what is a scientific notation? How to multiply negative numbers? So if you multiply two negative numbers, you should get a positive number, not a negative. And you're telling people to go back to school? Oh, please. Please. I would say enroll in school because you've never been there. Right. Well, the thing is, I've, tr I've explained to you, I understand technically by mathematical terms it's not a negative number. I'm calling it a negative number because we're multiplying it on the right side of the decimal point. As soon as I've explained that to you, your argument should be done. But no, they apparently want to keep going about this stupid negative number crap. Yes, because you've been caught on a lie. And you know we caught you on a lie. And you know that what you said is wrong. 
and now you're back pedaling. At the same time, if it was the other way around, you'd latch on to the whatever mistake we would do, like a dog with a bone, and never let go. So basically, we're just returning the favor. Or get over yourselves, you know? What's really, what's really... <laughs> They're all trying to come in and educate me, I love it. My, 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 aren't you the salty one? Why are you pouting so much? Pout, pout, pout. This next clip is from Team Skeptic arguing with JM Truth on the Negative 17 issue. Listen to JM saying initially that he made a mistake, that he backpedals, asks Nathan for his help, and then Team forces him to say that he was wrong. Enjoy. Because I want to get through this point first. I understand I made, a, other... I made a mistake with the, hundred, with the negative 170. Okay, okay. so is I can see the... that. Okay, it's technically. The negative... In fact, you didn't listen because I actually. Nathan, did I not say last night? Technically, it's a positive number. Did I not say that? Can you explain what technically is a positive means? Because the numbers are either positive or they're not positive. So, explain that, please. Yeah, you're saying that's on the certain I side did. of the decimal place. I said technically it's a positive number. Did but you I'm pull saying... out a calculator and say, first off, you said 10 to the negative 17th is a negative number, and then you go, let me show you, and you said, here's a calculator, 10 times negative 17 I, is I negative yeah. 170. I, yeah, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, but you said okay. multiple times that 10, and even the See, what is your point? I'm now telling you I made a mistake. But that's the actual point, JM. You admitting that you were wrong. And why is it important? Because you know you were wrong. And you were unwilling to admit it. And this is your pattern. You lie. You know you're lying. You get caught. You get called on. You pout like a child. And sometimes, sometimes, someone forces you to admit that you were wrong so you can end the argument there. That's a child's behavior, JM. You're not a child. At least, physically, you're not a child anymore. You're not honest enough to admit when you were wrong. You had to be forced to say you were wrong. I was reluctant in the past, calling you intellectually dishonest. I'm no longer reluctant. The audio from Nathan's show shows that you knew you were saying something wrong and you ran with it and then you backpedaled just a little bit but instead of backpedaling into safe ground you backpedaled into quicksand what was the quicksand that a negative number for you is a number on the right side of the decimal point that doesn't even exist my friends subscribers viewers of this video do you believe this person is honest when they say they believe on what they say and that the, the earth is flat and he's a physicist? Or does he know that he's a poe? I'll leave that conclusion to you. Let me now introduce a new segment in this video, which is what are people saying about GM Truth? Before we begin, I'd like to give out a massive shout out to Negative Exponents. As he did most of the research for this video and I use these clips. So if you haven't, please go to his channel and subscribe to him. He's got good content. The link for his channel will be in the description.